Hello, welcome back. This is Engineer Marcus. Another topic in differential equation, which is elimination of arbitrary constants. Okay, actually we have three methods in eliminating the arbitrary constants. The first one is by using differentiation and combination. The next is by uh, isolation of constants and the other one is by using determinants. In this video, I'll show you how to eliminate arbitrary constants by differentiation and combination. So, uh, we'll do the first method, okay? So, the first method by differentiation and combination. Okay, so the general method is differentiate the equation n times to eliminate n arbitrary constants. So meaning, if we, if the equation has uh, two arbitrary constants, we need to differentiate the equation twice. If the equation has four arbitrary constants, we need to differentiate the equation four times. Okay, and so on. So let me show you by example. So example number one. Let's say y equals x plus c1 uh, e raised to x plus c2 times e raised to minus 2x. As you can see, two arbitrary constants here. So we need to differentiate the equation two times. Okay, so dy over dx derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Then derivative of c1 e to the x is c1 e to the x. And derivative of c2 e raised to minus 2x is minus 2 c2 e raised to minus 2x. Okay? Then differentiate once again. So second derivative of y with respect to x is equal to derivative of 1 is 0 plus derivative of c1 e to the x is c1 e to the x. Okay? Then derivative of 2 c2 e raised to minus 2x is plus 4 c2 e raised to minus 2x. Let's call this equation 1, equation 2, and this one equation 3. Okay. So to eliminate c1 e to the x, let's subtract equation 1 from 2 or equation 2 minus equation 1. Okay, so dy over dx minus y equals 1 minus x. c1 e to the x minus c1 e to the x, 0. Then minus 2 c2 e raised to minus 2x minus c2 e raised to minus 2x. So minus 3 c2 e raised to minus 2x. Let's call this equation 4. Next, let's use uh, equation 3 and 2 to eliminate c1 e to the x. So subtract equation 2 from 3. Okay, so equation 3 minus equation 2. So we have the second derivative of y with respect to x minus dy over dx equals minus 1 c1 minus c1 e to the x, 0. Then positive 4c2 e raised to minus 2x minus minus 2 c2 e raised to minus 2x is positive 6 c2 e raised to minus 2x. And let's call this equation 5. Okay. Now, to eliminate c2, Let's multiply equation 4 by 2, okay? So, equation 4 times 2 here. <clears throat> so, 2 times dy dx. So, 2 times dy over dx minus 2y equals 2, okay, minus 2x. Then, minus 3 times 2, minus 6, C2e raised to minus 2x. 
And let's call this equation 6. Okay. Now, let's add equation 5 and equation 6 to eliminate the C2 or 6C2 e raised to minus 2x. Okay? So, let's add uh, let's say equation 5 plus equation 6. Okay, so d square y over dx square plus or minus dy over dx plus 2 dy dx is dy dx or 1 dy over dx. Then plus again 0 minus 2y is minus 2y. Okay, then equals minus 1 plus 2, 1. Then minus 2x, okay, minus 2x, then 0. Okay. Yes. Or, voila na, C1 and C2. Okay, very good. So, this is now your answer. Okay? So, algebra pala to. Huh? Okay. Let's have another. Okay, example number two. Okay, let's say um, y equals, uh, let's try this. Uh, C1 uh, cosine of 3x plus C2 times sine 3x. Okay. So, again, we have two arbitrary constants, so we need to differentiate this equation twice. Okay? So, dy over dx is... What is the derivative of cosine 3x? Minus, minus sine 3x times 3, no? Okay, so this is minus 3c1 sine of 3x. And the derivative of sine 3x is cosine 3x times 3 or 3c2 times cosine of 3x. Okay, then again, we need to differentiate this uh, dy over dx, no? So second derivative. So we have the second derivative of y with respect to x is equal to, again, what is the derivative of sine 3x? Cosine 3x times 3. So, minus 9 C1 cosine of 3x. And cosine 3x is minus sine 3x times 3. So, we have your negative 9 C2 times sine 3x. Okay, kung medyo limot na, I think you need to review your calculus, no? Differential calculus. Okay. So, Okay, here, d square y over dx square, let's factor out minus 9. Okay, then here, uh, c1 cosine of 3x plus c2 times sine 3x. There. And uh, this is equal to y. Yes? The c1 cosine 3x plus c2 sine 3x is y. Okay. So, d square y over dx square is equal to minus 9 times y. Or, d square y over dx square plus 9y equals 0. So, this is now your answer. Okay? Yes.